Hey there, it's Renessa Bully Lane, founder of Creating Your Perfect Work. I want to stop in really quick and ask you one question. What's your big promise? If you want to get highly paid doing work you love, you have got to have a big promise. If you want to elevate in your career or make a radical career shift, you've got to have a big promise on what you can deliver. If you are a service-based business and you're trying to attract and generate customers and clients and so on and so forth, you've got to have a big promise as to, to, to the value that you bring. And that is such a challenging notion for people to take on. Um, oftentimes, you know, folks don't recognize the value of what they bring to the table. They don't get how unique and different they are, their story or, or just the angle and the lens and the stand that they may, may, may take on an issue. But if you don't have a big promise, you are gonna get lost in a sea of vanilla. And it is the number one reason why people end up broke, because in any career, in any business, in any industry, there's some people who make a little bit of money and there's some people who make a lot of bit of money. Same industry, same role, same job, the whole nine. It all comes down to the big promise. Here's why this um, came to mind and why I'm talking about it. I was recently having a conversation with um, a woman and she is in the education space. She's, you know, currently in a career, but she wants to hang out her shingle and start consulting and kind of get out there and do work on her own and have an impact in the space in a different and kind way. And so as she's talking about what it is that she wants to do, I'm sitting here like, mm, you know, what's different about what it is like, where, where are you trying, where are you trying to disrupt the industry, what are you trying to do? What, what footprint is going to be different if, you know, if you now add your name to the hat, right? And so again, she starts talking and she sounds quite frankly, vanilla. It's just like everybody else, like there's just no excitement about, and I'm have a vested interest in being excited. <laughs> and I'm like, what's going on? Now, mind you, this woman is awesome. She's been in the industry for years. She's experienced. She's knowledgeable. She has a passion for, for kids. She has a desire to make a difference and finally, you know, make some shifts in an industry that has been long plagued with just a lack of, you know, progressiveness and so on and so forth. But she didn't have a promise. Like there was nothing about her where someone would take a second look and be like, well, well, dang. <laughs> What's going on? And so as I asked that question for her, it was difficult for her to answer. And it's okay that it was difficult for her to answer. It should be difficult for her to answer because that means that she's going to now get to do something super disruptive that's going to change um, how the market views the value of what she brings to the table. And most of us have a hard time answering those questions. So I mean, for me, you know, when you think about your big promise, you think about it and you can think about it in a number of different ways. You can think about what's my stand? Like, what's my position about the issues in my industry? If you're in a, in a career, what's my position about the issues that potential clients or customers can face if I'm starting a business or if I'm doing a side hustle? Like, what's different about how I approach these problems? Like, what's the big problem that I want to fix and I'm committed to fixing? Like, those are ways to think about your big promise. For instance, I am all about helping women everywhere get highly paid doing work they love. Like, I don't believe in dream job and broke. My stand is that you need to get paid. <laughs> and everything that I do for my clients is through the lens of how do we monetize this and how do we maximize how we're monetizing this? And not every woman is driven by money. I'm not driven by money, but I'm, I, I believe in maximizing um, the, the monetization of the value that you bring to the marketplace. And I am unapologetic about that. If you're looking for dream job and broke, I'm not your chick because I take a stand on get highly paid to do work you love. <laughs> That's my big promise, right? And so you got to think about that from you. I'm going to give you a couple of examples so that you can start to see how this plays in big and small ways, whether you're in a career or whether you're in a business. So let's say you are a merchandiser in a retail space and, you know, you know, it's not all about just putting 
you know, products on the shelf and, you know, stacking them up in a great way and this and that and the other. Merchandising, you want to merchandise in a way that you make a difference for the, the chain or your company or, or whatnot. So we had a, a retail merchandiser and he, and he was like, I'm awesome at showcasing. So he says, I work with retailers who have a host of products that they need to sell to customers, be it online or in brick and mortar stores. I am awesome at showcasing their products in a way that they fly off the shelf. I am all about making sure companies get the perfect product in the hands of the customers who need and want what they offer. So his big promise is that I'm gonna showcase your products in a way that they fly off the shelf. Not that it's cute, not that it's pretty, but they are flying off the shelf. And if I'm a retailer, that's what I want in somebody that's doing my merchandising. Another example of a recruiter. Recruiters can be dime a dozen, right? You have in-house recruiters in companies, you have um, recruiting firms, you have recruiters from all, all over the place. What makes one different from another? One example, this is a, an example, I'm a recruiter for nonprofits. It's my mission to find the most qualified, interesting and engaged professionals on earth and help bring them on board into your nonprofit mission. I believe that, that having the right people in the right roles is the key to organizations fulfilling their mission. And I'm committed to helping them do that. Like this is elevator pitch kind of language, but the embedded in that elevator pitch is a big promise. And so once you know your big promise, then you build all of your other communications around that, your elevator pitch, your LinkedIn, your, you know, all that kind of stuff. The big promise here is that it is my mission to find the most qualified, interesting, and engaged professionals on earth and help nonprofits bring them on board. So if I'm a nonprofit and I'm looking for a recruiter, I think I want the recruiter whose mission is to bring the most qualified, interesting, engaged professionals into my organization. That's an example of a big promise. Let me give you another one that you might not think about. And this, well, you know, well, no, let me give you one more and then I'm gonna cut this short. So I worked with a client once and her desire was to really help women who had repro you know, reproductive struggles to really be able to thrive. So she wasn't a, a, a medical doctor or anything like that. So she didn't have that background where she's like work, you know, doing that. But she had gone through lots of fertility issues and lots of reproductive issues of her own. And she had learned to thrive in the midst of healing that process. And so she really wanted to help um, women, particularly professional women, to be able to do that. And here's what she said. She said, I work with professional women who are struggling on some part of the reproductive spectrum, from endometriosis to infertility to postpartum challenges. For many women, these are the most painful challenges of their lives, yet they suffer in private in the midst of achieving publicly. I lived through that for 15 years and now I'm putting an end to that suffering for others. My work picks up where the medicine leaves off and equips women with the mindset, resources and supportive community they need to take control of their overall health and reproductive well-being, no matter the diagnosis. Here's her big promise. Her big promise is that I pick up where the medicine leaves off. Why? Because what she says is that when women are going through some of these challenges with reproduction and you know, fertility and, and different things, it's like there's medical diagnosis, there's medical protocols and so on and so forth, but they're still left dealing with the emotional pieces, how to kind of function in life and how to, you know, physically how to take, and there's all these other elements that are outside of the medical scope that still need to get dealt with as they're healing through that journey. And so she's like, I pick up where the medicine leaves off. That's her big promise. I'm not going to leave you where the medicine, you know, stops. And so again, these are elevator pitch, like what, you, what, what you're hearing here, but all of these elevator pitches are um, uh, they're, they're anchored in a big promise. So if you want to get highly paid doing work you love, you've got to think about what's my big promise. And if you don't know what your big promise is, that's where you start. Then you build everything else, resumes and, you know, website, you know, messages, all of those kinds of things, advertisements and all of that is around the big promise. Got it? Got it. So I'll see you the next time. Bye.